a shooting game called One Shot, Two Shot, Red Shot, Blue Shot, Dr. Seuss theme shooting game. So basically how it plays is you'll select a play on the LCD screen, by pressing the up arrow and select, which starts our little tune at the beginning to let you know that the game is going to start. And then five seconds later, the LEDs on the targets begin to light up randomly um, to notify you which targets are active, and those are the ones that you shoot at. And you have about three seconds to um, shoot them and actually score points, as shown by hitting them. Um, and all the ones that are not lit up are not active, so you can't score on those ones. What we ended up deciding is having basically a solenoid. It's just a 10 amp coil. Shoots a plunger, which hits one of the targets into, the, or one of the targets in here. Um, we have a stepper on the front here, so we have this six-round uh, revolver that basically rotates in the next position for each round. So when you turn the game on, you probably didn't see it, but the barrel rotates until it hits this positioning switch over here, which lines up the first barrel in case you know you move it around or something in the beginning. At the top here, these lights go on, so this indicates the shots that you have left. So one of these lights goes off for each shot as you go. We have two different sensors, um, proximity sensor basically. We have an IR one on this, on the gun. And this is basically like a, within a foot range. If you try to aim it at a person, you won't be able to shoot. And this one here is for about six feet range. So basically if you come within a certain range of the um, console, like too close, you can't cheat and shoot. It won't let you uh, shoot. So the barrel rotates around until it hits the position switcher in the beginning. And when you fire it, the barrel rotates to the next shot. The light goes out every time you fire it. Uh, it's actually a staple gun. So that staple gun had the manual trigger. So the manual trigger could be fired at any time. Uh, so what we did is we modified that and we made it electronically controllable. So basically the trigger here sends a switch over to our Arduino Uno, which controls the gun. The Arduino Uno then uh, decides whether or not to actually activate the solenoid, depending on whether the barrel is rotating or if one of the sensors are tripped. Uh, and then for controls, we have uh, one Arduino Mega, uh, one Arduino Uno, and two picks. The Arduino Mega controls basically the whole console, the gaming system, all that. And it also communicates with the picks to control our seven segments of space for the score. And then the Arduino Uno controls the gun and uh, the sensors. There's also a delay that prevents you from shooting.